Hi, my name is Kevin Chen. I'm the Director of Visual Arts Programming at Intersection for the Arts. Intersection for the Arts is a 46-year-old alternative nonprofit space based here in San Francisco. We have always been an organization that looks at larger social, political, cultural issues through the lens of artistic practice. And we are here today at our exhibition, Chico and Chang. The original inspiration was actually drawn from a restaurant chain in Atlanta, Georgia called Chico and Chang. Half of their menu is, is, is Mexican food and half of their menu is Chinese food. What really struck me about that particular menu was the graphic picturing a Chinese guy in a coolie hat on a rickshaw carrying takeout Chinese containers and in the back seat was a drawing representation of the Mexican guy wearing a sombrero and carrying a tamale holder. And you know, it kind of struck me that these two large, very diverse, complex cultures could be boiled down to such simple representations. Chico and Chang primarily looks at four different topic areas. One of the main topics is um, basically whose stories of immigration are being told and how are they being told. One of the artists in the show, Fabiana Rodriguez, has created an amazing body of work working with young adults in Southern California who are calling themselves the dreamers. Another piece in the exhibition that talks about this topic of whose stories of immigration are actually being told is artist Charlene Tan. She created a magnificent table sculpture that sits right in the center of the exhibition. This piece was a kind of a physical manifestation of a narrative of a childhood memory. A fam important family friend gave us a dining table. It was very important and we were very excited about it. And my little brother and I were 11, 14, putting it together. And we were realizing that there were kind of handprints everywhere on the bottom where no one would really see. And it became this kind of awakening of what child labor is. Silent labor was almost like an exercise to show a stranger that feeling we had at that moment. The second theme that the exhibition covers is how are place and location defined. A great example of a piece of work that comments upon this theme is artist Tracy Snelling's sculpture called Mexicali China. She is another Bay Area artist who has done recently in, in the past couple of years residencies in both China and also in Tijuana, Mexico, where immigrant communities really help define how neighborhoods look through business signage and interior decoration. Her sculptural piece kind of mismatches the two communities together, creating this, this wonderful, fantastical future look at what the present is today. The third topic in the exhibition is where we can see where the two communities start intersecting or where they start colliding. Ana Teresa Fernandez, she did a sculptural installation utilizing the ubiquitous blue, white, and red patterns of the rayon bags that many communities use to transport laundry to the laundromat to buy groceries and such. As you can see, she created a little installation kind of mocking up the interior of a household covering up as many objects that are familiar to the eye with the fabric. The fourth area of investigation that the exhibition looks at is where the larger concerns of the Asian and Latin communities intersect with popular culture. One piece that best exemplifies this is the large neon piece that you see as you enter into the exhibition. My name is Sergio de la Torre. I'm a Bay Area artist, and this is my work in the exhibition. It's a neon sign, and the title is This is not in Spanish. Yeah, the piece is part of a larger project. Uh, I'm looking at Chinese presence in Mexico, specifically in Tijuana, city of Tijuana. And um, the piece uh, refers to uh, restaurants in Tijuana. Tijuana has around a thousand Chinese restaurants. So when you're driving in Tijuana, you don't speak Chinese or you don't read Chinese characters. You see these signs, you think about food immediately. So I was trying to play with the idea of what you see and what you actually read. When you start mixing these different groups of people, these different cultures, I, I, I like that idea, right? That you can actually comment on somebody else's uh, culture or somebody else's understanding of that culture.
One of the hopes we have for visitors that come and see the exhibition is that they go away taking a better understanding of the broadness and the breadth of the issues that are affecting and impacting both the Asian and Latin communities here in California and how they actually spill out into the larger fabric of the communities that we live and work in.